and like spend all that other time dealing with those buyer leads and doing all that stuff and sleeping and dealing with the kids and your other job and stuff. But just know there's one, there's two things you got to do consistently every single week. Titus. I want to hear about the Titus. Hey, I, um, so yeah, I just got licensed. But my biggest issue is um, I got a full-time job mm -hmm. because I don't, I can't quit. Like, I don't make enough money. Um, but that's from 3 a.m. to like either 11, 30, 12, 30, or 1 if they make us work overtime. So I don't, I'm trying to squeeze on when to make calls. Kids get home, my wife, kids get home, you know, six, seven. When they get home, yeah, I can't. Get That's a perfect situation. Well, except I'm going to sleep. Right. At 11. And then having to get up at, three, at, at, at two. two. Yeah. I'm getting three hours of sleep. Right. So at the beginning, it was one thing your mind. So what do you do? What, like, like, there's no way around that, though. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's no way like from the three to the six, you can't. I mean, do you nap during that time? I used to before I got licensed. Right now, what's, what's happening is if I'm, I'm making calls or whatever, but I'm on a team, so we'll get leads, some leads, or whatever. So now I got some stuff going on, but now that takes up. So then I'm finding myself the leads take time, you mean? Well. Now I got some buyers trying to do something. I haven't closed anything. Right. But they, they're taking up so much time that I'm not able to make the calls because you deal yeah. with buyers, which is why I don't buy leads. Well, no, I'm not buying. I know. I'm just yeah. I'm just making a point. But yeah, and then some people like my wife's coworker, and some people want to buy and so forth. So when I do have something going on, it's just taking so much time. And so now I'm going two, three days, and I didn't make any calls. And it's like, you know, that's not going to last because once they do close, I don't have nothing in the pipeline. Question, how many days a week are you working this main job? Monday through Friday. Okay, so you got Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, well, Sunday I go to church, but, you know. You I, got half a day Sunday yeah. and all day Saturday, right? And you need some time to recharge because you're working, you're sleeping three hours a night, right? Okay, but what you got to do is you got to say, I'm going to do one three-hour call session once a week on Saturdays or Sunday afternoon. That's what you need to do. You need to say, I'm going to make one, three, or four, or five hour call session once a week. <clears throat> And like spend all that other time dealing with those buyer leads and doing all that stuff and sleeping and dealing with the kids and your other job and stuff. But just know there's one, there's two things you got to do consistently every single week. Everything else is whatever, right? You got to make that, that three, two, three, four, five hour call session, okay? And you got to do your weekly email. So you think that, so the... A week, you think five five hours a call. You don't have a choice. Okay. Well, I mean, and I mean, five I'm hours. Thinking more. But 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 the thing is, is you you got to You have to do something that you can be consistent with. Yeah, I got you. I get what you say. Right. Yeah. And see, the thing is, is five. If you do five hours a, a day a week. I know I can at least. And then and then and then you got the buyer leads going on and whatever comes out of those calls and whatever referrals, you're gonna sell something sooner or later, okay? And then as you sell stuff and then you you just keep going, you just keep fighting through it, and then you get to the part where I can quit my job and do this full time. And you just keep pushing and pushing and pushing until it happens. You know, but yeah, I do. I do think a four one call session, one strong, no distractions. Your wife is on, on board. You, she, they lock the door. There's, there's no kids. There's nothing. I have to do this. Three to four to five hours, or whatever you decide, y'all decide you you want to do. But you need one really, really strong session a week, and that's all you need. To be honest with you, you know, because you got the buyer leads that you might sell something with. You know, if you if you if you get a second session in or a third session in, that's that's just bonus, okay. right? But I don't want you to say I need three sessions, yeah. and then and then miss one of those sessions that you thought you were supposed to have, and that throws you off for the rest of the week. I want you to say I'm I'm gonna completely commit to one, and then if you get another one in, great. But whatever that one is, it needs to be in stone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's good. To where, to where if you don't, you know, that's the one that matters. Yeah. And the other ones are just bonuses. And then you can get there.
See what I'm saying? No, that's good advice. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even thinking that. That's, that's really good. Sometimes you just got to sit down and like, and like really think about your situation and think, how can I make this happen? Because like I said before you got here, 20% of our actions is, is creating 80% of our results. Like 100% of your time is not creating 100%, you know, 100% of your results. Like 20% of your actions, 100% of your actions are not, are not, it's 20%, the 20%. And so with like a situation like you or with you, with your kid, it's like the child is there, and so you that. But then when you don't have the child, you don't have as many hours a day as I have, or somebody that doesn't have a child or a full-time job. But you can use those two hours, and you can concentrate on that 20 percent, not making postcards and work, working on your website and looking up stuff and 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 checking your email too many times a day and stuff like that. No. Phone calls, making my weekly email, following up with people who said they might do something. You know, where's my next deal coming from? Who do I need to call and say, hey, am I leaving you hanging? You know, stuff like that. Okay. Negotiating deals, showing property, going to listing appointments. You know what I mean? The stuff that makes you money, that's all you need to do during that two hours that you get. And then when you go full time, then you can do like all the other agents and spend 80% of your time not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just